The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukai Odiariwola, has come under fire for saying he is elated that Sheima Kindi, the Oyo State Governor, is a member of the G5 Group of Governors or the Integrity Group. Now, is his lordship getting too close to politicians? Stay with us for analysis of this. Also on the breakfast, the government of Nigeria has said it will end its conditional cash transfer program by December the 31st, 2022. But has the CCT achieved its aims? We'll have further discussion ahead. And in the press, we bring you in-depth analysis of today's major newspaper, newspaper headlines. All right, we're back with the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. A beautiful Monday morning reaching you live from our studios on Victoria Island, Lagos. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Bopos. It's good to be back on your screen this beautiful Monday morning. Indeed, Mercy, you, the good to be back is really a, <laughs> <laughs> an interesting good to be back because uh, you've course. not been around for some time. Yes. And it's good to have you back. I hope you're feeling better. Yes, I feel very great. All and, right. you know, my voice is back. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's uh, start with a trending segment like we normally do uh, on this program. Uh, some tweet, you know, uh, about a Facebook post. I don't know if, um, how many of you saw this, but... Um, uh, a gentleman on 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 Twitter, uh, Mendex. Uh, he goes with the Twitter account, just Mendex. You know, brought something that was on Facebook, on uh, Twitter. You know, a, a post about uh, um, so, some uh, someone, Aminu Alahe. All right. So I just got to read a bit of that um, that Facebook post so that you may understand it. Someone says that. Um, we're seeking justice for Aminu Adamu Mohammed, uh, who was taken away from uh, University of Dutsi. You know, University of Dutsi. Uh, <laughs> on Thursday, the 8th of November 2022, by suspected security operatives from Asurok. I'm just reading everything. I'm quoting him, the post that, that he shared. Yeah, this is not a news report from uh, Plus TV Africa, but this is just a quote of uh, the post. Um, um, it, the post continued. This was a post shared by Sadun Baba Azari whom this gentleman, the first gentleman I talked about, brought on Twitter, a uh, Facebook post that it says, Aminu is 23 years old, a final year student of environmental management uh, and toxicology at the FUD Chikawa State, uh, without prior knowledge of school authorities, was taken away uh, by school operators to ask rock over his statement uh, targeting the first lady, uh, Aisha Buhari. This is what the statement claims uh, or alleges. Um, it says, Aminu's sudden disappearance uh, came to the father's notice when one of his friends, as a schoolmate, in parenthesis, from the university, called to inform him of not seeing Aminu for five days uh, in the school. Other sources from the school said Aminu was forcefully taken around midnight, uh, sorry, 12 o'clock p.m., rather, by suspected security operatives. Um, now, Aminu said after being beaten mercilessly by uh, security before the first lady, was later taken to an unknown location in Abuja, not a police station, for one week before he was allowed to call his father, uh, a retired Bauchi state civil servant. Um, so they, they, they say they have the statement uh, by, uh, the comment rather, by um, Aminu Adamu Shalili on this Twitter handle sometime in June during the ASU strike, which is what they are alleging led to his... Uh, uh, his 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 um, alleged arrest. Uh, something in Hausa there, uh, and all that. Uh, so so it's an allegation. I mean, I don't know if there's been any any reaction uh, or rebuttal by by the press. You know, aides to the the first lady. Mercy. It's it's, it's over to you. Well, so it's still very sketchy. But if is anything to go by, we know that the law is very explicit on the issue of defamation and so you want to talk about uh, what the constitution or the law talks about it, if it's expected if that's something to go by that <coughs> uh, dss was sent out you know to apprehend him or he was apprehended he was taken he was beaten in front of you know asha buhari at asarok that's that's according to the narrative and all of that that we have actually seen 
uh, it, it would be unfortunate if that's the case. But if we talk about defamation or defamatory comments and all of that, it's something that the law talks about. Fast forward, you want to look at what the Act talks about in 2000, 2015 to be precise. Uh, that's the Online Defamation or Cyber Crime Prohibition Prevention Act that, you know, became or came into effect May 15, uh, 2015, that provides as follows that any person who knowingly sends a message or other matter by means of computer system or that he knows to be false for the purpose of causing annoyance, inconvenience, danger, obstruction, insult, injury, and criminal intimidation, enmity, hatred, ill or uh, ill will or needless anxiety or another to cause such a message to be sent commit an offence under this act and shall be liable on conviction for a fine of not more than seven million or imprisonment for a term of not more than three years or both of such fine and imprisonment. So, yes, there's a con that, I mean, the law actually guards that. There's a provision in, in the law or the constitution against this. And you won't talk about the types of defamation. So it might be issue of slander or libel. And in this case, because it's written and uh, it will be there for a very long time because it's a tweet up until he deletes it. But even when he deletes that particular tweet, because it was written not in English, but the interpretation has been put out is not the thing to write him about. But really, um, that's what it is. And that's why we say that we have a government. The reason we have a government in any country is to check the excesses. That's why you have a law. And so at the time where you feel that your right uh, has been, you know, contravened or what have you, it's okay to actually seek justice within the ambience of the law. So yes, like I mentioned earlier on, if there's anything to go by, then it's wrong. But however, subsequently, if there's also cases like this, because we know that we've been grappling with the issue of, oh, we need to come to a point where we ban social media, the issue of free speech, and the fact that there's a lot of bullying and people, you know, chunking out their thoughts and being very violent. I mean, social media space, all of it can, can be very hostile, really, for anybody, not just limited to the politicians or the political class. But we say that there's a law that provides protection for all for all of this. So a uh, paraventure um, you encounter all of this, know that, I mean, it's within your right, you know, to seek justice, not to take the laws into your hands because we're not in a jungle. Um, there's no need for all of that, Kofi. Yes, indeed. Um, for those who maybe just will be wondering what exactly the, the, the young man said, um, he, it's, it's in Hausa. Um, I, I'll try my best to, to, to read it out. I don't know if Messi speaks Hausa. I can help I us read it. Do you? you speak Hausa? I don't. Okay. It says, Su mama anchi, anchi kudin talkawa ankoshi. I can, I can, I can, I understand the anchi, the mama. Uh, I can understand the kudin. Kudin, kudin is money. You know, anchi. So it means the mother has gotten fat by eating the masses, masses money. You know, the mother has gotten fat by eating the masses money. Now, I do not know if this was a comment to a particular post or picture or was just a post on its own. Uh, but it's, it's coming, of course, as frustration over the prolonged acid strike. Uh, I, I need to really get to know, because there was a time a picture was shared online. Mama went to share a picture about um, uh, of, of her daughter's graduation, daughter-in-law's graduation from investing in the UK. Remember, we talked about it here. Uh, I don't know if that is that is related, but um, legal practice. I mean, as of Sunday night, you had uh, about more than sixty thousand tweets. You know, most of the men users, you know, mentioning uh, the name Aisha Buhari, which trended on Twitter, uh, with you know mounting pressure on the authorities to let the student go. Uh, one person who commented on this was legal practitioner Ani Bayefi himself has stayed state incarceration. Uh, recently, after the Chief Justice of Akwa State, the Chief Judge, uh, just threw him in jail. Uh, so he says that um, it is petty, ridiculous, and unconstitutional for the DSS to hold a citizenry for mockery. Now, the laws you started, the so-called cybercrime, um, even the, the nomenclature is debatable, uh, laws. We, I mean, we have, you know, laws on, on, on slander and libel, but, but the cybercrime laws don't say 
they can be picked up and thrown in jail without any any no. any court process. Sorry, Messi. Um, they don't say that you should be beaten um, like that. This, if it is true, if it is true, is an extrajudicial action, and it's totally against the law. It's totally condemned. But I would hope that uh, something comes up, some sort of information comes up from the DSS. Mm. That's very true. I mean, of course, in all of this, uh, stating the, the law or the act did never state that you should be taken out. And that's why I'm saying that if there's anything to go by, really, it would be uh, very despicable, especially at a time where you have, you know, the ruling class who should understand what the law talks about and lead according to the law. So if you think that your right has been uh, infractured, then you should move ahead to seek for redress. But quickly, let's move away from that. Another that generated a lot of, you know, reactions from Nigeria, got a lot of people talking, is the picture of a very popular pastor who's in Abuja, uh, the Koza Church, uh, Pastor Biodu Fatoyibo, uh, picture of Sophie's. So we saw several pictures. I saw it. Uh, comparing that with his previous pictures, he really looked like he had lost a lot of weight and he looked really, really old, you know, in that picture. Of course, there's nothing wrong in looking old because old age is natural. Everyone will become old eventually. But that caused a lot of stare on social media and uh, people started talking. Some people were thinking that, oh, could it be that he's ill? What is going on? Some people say it could be karma. I mean, there's a lot of reactions. But uh, Kofi, what are your thoughts? Really? <laughs> I mean, I was, I was going through comments today. Um, first of all, is it him? That's the question I have to ask. Is it him? And then secondly, um, you know, it is not on my business. It's his private life. It's not on my business. I know I made Biodo Fatu Ibo's uh, business my business. Uh, people are looking for what to talk about, you know. Um, the last picture I saw of the gentleman um, on his uh, Instagram, uh, if you go to his page, I think the last post that, uh, that I, I saw was on the uh, 17th of April. You know, so he hasn't shared, and he's very active on on Instagram. He hasn't shared a post for quite a, some time now. You know, seventeenth uh, of April, and he posts almost uh, almost every day. Before then, you know, he posts almost every day before then. You know, so um, number one, if he's the one, that's the first thing to to ask. Secondly, I mean, the gray hair—we all grow old. I mean, even I am. I'm sure when I when I started, you know, my I work on this station. I didn't have as much gray hair as I do now. You know, so what yeah. are you trying to say? Then? I'm saying that we all grow old. You understand? That's what I'm saying. You know, people grow older. You know, so you can imagine just uh, 12 months or how many 10 months I have gray hair. Um, you know, so you never can tell. The gray hair is neither here nor there for me. Um, the weight loss. Maybe it could be fasting. You understand? Maybe it could be fasting. Who knows? This guy's fasting. But whatever it is, I think that. Um, People need to exercise, and ex you know, a high amount of decency, you know. First of all, it's nobody's business. It's none of, not, let me say the way the black Americans say, it's none of your business. <laughs> it's none of your business. It's his private life, all right? It's his private life. Some people are saying, I read some comments, some people saying, it's karma. You know, karma is catching up with him. Um, who are you to judge? You know, you, has karma caught up with your own uh, sins, you know? I think it's uh, people should look for how to, you know, provide for themselves and how to find their daily bread, and then to 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 become the judge over this man's life. You know, that's all I'll say. For me, I I I, I do refrain. I'd like to refrain from. Uh, maybe I can discuss it in my heart. Maybe with my wife. You know, just okay. But publicly, you know, I my view is that there's some things that are private and should be left as such. You know, he's a public figure, no doubt. But if it's health, it's a private matter. So that, that's it, Mercy. Oh, well, so... Yeah. Uh, you know, we lost Sammy over, uh, you know, the weekend as well. And I, that I'm was not, really I'm sad. Not, I'm not, yes, definitely really sad. And I remember being in church yesterday. It was also, uh, he was being talked about, especially being the fact that he was friends with, you know, the church in, mm. in question. He, he, he's a member of your, ch your church. I think ah. a worship, worship leader in your church last time I heard. 
Yes, uh, not not entirely, but but, but there's a lot really. Okay. But um, like you have rightly mentioned, it's is that we let we let that be. But you would also want to agree with me uh, that the reason I, reason I raised that mercy, sorry to to Samuel Posa's issue is that some people are said, oh, karma, you know, he's paying for his oh baby that baby daddy baby mama thing and all that, you know. So, 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 but, but, the, but the reason, I, I think that the reason people get to be involved in the issues of uh, persons like this is because mm -hmm. if you are in a public space, because it's a public figure, uh, people seem to be very interested, you know, in your situation. I mean, Nigerians are very, very investigative skills is top notch. You find out details you never knew, and you're like, "How do these people get but all if, of this?" If, if, you know, because you will hear reports you about died. Fatou Yibo. Mercy, someone passed on. No, I'm not talking about it's Samuel Posa. I know. I'm, I'm, that was just just trying to link the two. That Samuel Posa passed on, and what people can say is not everybody, but what some people will say, someone, someone will, will say, "Oh, come on, come on, it's, it's not decent." No, but 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 the truth is, the same people who are, uh, you know, just uh, allow me to say this: the same people who are, you know, saying "kama." When when Biodun Fatu, if if anything happens to him, God forbid, they will start sharing. Oh, R.I.P. Heartbreak emoji, pa pa pa, crying emoji, pa pa pa. They share his pictures, you know. People just but, want but, to talk. But Kofi, that's actually the world that we're living. And if you follow, even if you look at the story, I believe you're a Christian. And if we want to go to you, the Bible, you, you believe. <laughs> of course, I believe you you're believe, Christian. You, you believe. I believe you're a Christian. <laughs> now, if if yeah. if I mean, you have never told me. So, but yeah. if you want to look at you know Christianity. And, you know, Jesus himself, you would find that, that the people who crucified Jesus are the people in the church. So it, was, it wasn't really like it was strangers. Mm -hmm. They crucified him. I, I, and I, so that's what it is. But yeah. we're not getting into that conversation. Yes, yes. The point is, I, I probably might understand why people are talking about Fatou Yibo because he's that public figure. He's in that space. And people are checking. They said, oh, the last time he posted was in April. You can imagine how someone is paying attention to the last time, you know, you put, you put out a tweet or a post, you know, on Instagram. But curiosity, like you rightly said. Curiosity. I, I, wanted, <laughs> I, I went to check just to be sure. Because at first I was the one. But, you know, I'll, we'll pray for him. Pray. But I think we should just pray for, you know, pray for people like that. Because you never can tell. You never can tell. Um, I will just say before we move on, you know, a few words for Samuel Poso. You know, it's so sad. Uh, he, he passed on. Really unfortunate. Um, may so rest in peace, and he'll be missed. Sammy Poso will be missed. Um, in the man I died it was was unfortunate. It was so sudden. Um, Sammy Poso had say, shared a lot of um, posts on on social media. Some posts on social media day prior. You know he had been in some videos, and it's it seemed too sudden the way Sammy Poso died. Messi, you've had the privilege to see him up close and personally in recent time. I had the privilege to encounter him at different times over the past years, you know, many years ago. No. And I've interacted with Samuel Poso, and he's a very lively individual. Very, you know? very. And he'll be missed. He, he had a voice that nobody in, in Nigeria had. I, I, and and you know, what, one thing about has. Samuel Poso is that, yeah. you know, I, I would always remember the times during the carnival. The Calabar that's, Carnival that's when you had activities, series of about. activities. And then about. there's always a gospel night and all of that. He and would he, come in. He led the choir. The energy yes. is out yes. of this world. And yes. that I will never forget. Well, so, we Samuel is, is a once in a generation person, you know, once in a generation gift. And he'll be sorely missed. We, we send our condolences to the family of Samuel Poso um, and his, uh, his, the members of his, his, his ministry, his church, his friends and well wishes. Sami, uh, rest easy. I'm sure that uh, we'll all one day depart this world. And we'll be singing in that heavenly choir. Definitely. Okay. Well, the association, Messi, how, how much do you pay for, for, for Sashi Waterbagger? Don't tell me you don't use Sashi Waterbagger. I don't sashay use water. Sashi Waterbagger. Don't tell me. Don't no, tell but me. I don't. You know, you know it's just like um, a King Jamong in that movie called The Interview. I said it doesn't release gas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but to be real, I, I, I use I use sachet water mm. every week. Uh, you know, I have to drop money in the house for them to buy uh, uh, as a bar, ten bags because I mean, for instance, when we can pump water, when we need to cook, we need to do stuff, and sometimes you the water is just uh, pumping issues, how uh, you're having issues and all that. We go to that, you know. So I I'm not one of those people. I use sachet water. 
you know, I have such. I, I don't. It's a staple in most, even in the the richest Nigerian home. You have that. It's a staple because you need. It's 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 um, it's a, a necessity. You know, you need it. You know, just somewhere in the kitchen. Uh, Messi is the only Nigerian who doesn't use sashi water. No, have sashi water at home. <laughs> uh, so Messi wants to understand this. Maybe we should just focus on me for now. Messi. Um, it wasn't, is it up to 10 years ago? We, we used to you know how much they used to sell a, a bag of, okay. About 10 years ago, Sasha, what a bag of Sasha water was sold for about 16 naira in Lagos. You know, about 16 naira in Lagos. It was less. It, or less, okay. Now, I'm talking about 10 years ago, there about. This year, or I think after COVID, they increased the bag of Sasha water to, to 150 from about 100 naira to 150. And then it's gone to 200. Currently, we sell or well, buy a bag of sachet water for 200. You know, we call pure water. I buy, I leave money. I have to leave 2,000 naira at home for 10 bags. <laughs> and they're, they're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're thinking this very personal. They're telling me <laughs> that I have to add 1,000 extra because they go to sell a bag of sachet water to me. Minimum is what the lady said. How much? The, the lady, the, I think she's in a National Court President Association. Clementina TV. Minimum 300 naira. You, you can Minimum. Coffee. That's what they're telling me. Messi, you're not, you're not <laughs> on this table. No. <laughs> you know, you're not on this table. You know, when we were young, okay, let me just give the information after you out, come back. But, you know, the National Chairman of the um, Associ Association of Table Water Producers, we have like two or three, you know, national unions for this water business. She says that they have had to increase the price, you know, to 300 naira. Uh, she heard the statement. I think she gave a press conference. It's all over the media. You can hear radio stations and all that. Um, and I think they're seeing the change in prices as a result of a increase in the price of materials coupled with the economic situation in the country. You know, so that's that. That's that. So just know that if if all the the producers are with this particular union, then of course they would be jumping on this three hundred naira. Mm. All right. What well, 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 so about um, let's even get to that part where you talk about me you not know, using uh, uh, water. That's no, 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 no. I that, you that's you because, because you of course I no, don't. So. That's because I'm in a space where I can actually make water. I can actually, you know, you know, sash this water and put it out. I, I have access to treated water, which has been it's, bought. It's, you know, when you say that's number one. When you say treated water, we all have treated water. Yeah, Lagos, you have to treat your own water. You understand, but so, but, no, but nobody has nobody trusts uh, the process. No, it's so very treated. So when I tell you now. when I tell you that it's very treated, that I can actually bottle the water. Okay, so you, you drink water from exactly. your tap. Exactly, and then I also have access to okay. you know water dispenser. You trust it. So I also have you know water to. So that's also another part of it. So yeah, I still so, buy so, water, so, but, but so I you, don't you buy trust, water. You trust the. The uh, treated water. Very treated. Okay. okay I, I will not good. begin to mention, you know, the area now, so people don't... No, we can, we can like tell it. Well, Messi stays in so, <laughs> Don't you of, have to say the, that? One of the richest but, areas in... in the, but, but the truth is, in, um, over time, Messi, I, I know, like I, I'm, I know I'm, how much, you know... It makes me look like I'm the one who is... I don't know, I'm looking... Who is living the hard life in this country? You're not living the hard life. We're not living the hard life. But the truth is, I mean, living in Nigeria, we've all patronized. If you're not patronizing sachet water at this point, I'm sure that there was once upon a time you patronized it. And it wasn't 300 naira for a bag, so it's quite different. Everything is... Everything seems to be on the high now. Every every commodity, every service seems to be on the high, including transportation. And some people have questioned it. Uh, some people are asking, why are we buying, or why would people buy, you know, sachet or, or bag of water for three hundred naira? And then what's what's really the problem? Is it the le you know, leather now? Is it the you know, <laughs> cost? Of, what exactly is going on? But we can also. You know, take out the fact that in the cost of production, you need to also factor some things. Now, mostly for us in Nigeria, we do business. We some of the materials that we used to, you know, do business highly imported. We have to import them. So you don't have not every business that you have in Nigeria that you say, okay, from start to finish, the production from start to finish is sourced from here. So all of the materials, resources that you're going to be using is sourced from Nigeria. From the beginning to the end, that's what you mean by start to finish. So mostly, a lot of business still, um, you know, depend on importation of some of its materials to finish her production, and you probably also need to consider. So imagine that you have to import, you know, the cellophane or the paper bag or whatever it is that you call it 
from outside of Nigeria. Let's look at, you know, the cost of the dollar now or the exchange rate. It's on the high. So all of that trickles. This is what I'm thinking. But it's just, you know, simple economics and statistics and reality that we're faced with. And that might be the reason. Even though we know that there are some cases where some persons just take advantage of the situation and then they become, you know, um, overly... Uh, zealous and deciding to make over profit or take advantage of the situation and profit. But what we've always asked is that, hey, can we live in a society where the government provides an enabling environment for businesses to actually thrive? Because at the end of the day, the masses will be bearing the brunt of it. And if you look at that, uh, you see that the cost of every product or production or services is on the high. Uh, what happens, you know, to the earnings? Do we have salaries? increasing to meet up the current realities that's not the case for us it's really really saddening and if the people say i mean kofi i'm sure you're also aware of the fact that uh, the oil marketers are saying that nigerians should be ready to buy oil uh, petrol at any price did, 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 did you seen, hear that statement the, 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 we the should be ready to buy oil the product at so any price that is the petrol petrol marketers yes okay. so so it, it's just a lot that's going on and when as a business, because people get into business for the essence of making profits. And so when you begin to factor, you know, all other issues, then it becomes, um, you know, quite worrisome. Yeah. But uh, b b before we go, uh, I would just like to, I would like to add that, um, uh, you know, the, the, the funny aspect of all this is that, and I never knew that they were, they were supposed to give one extra bag. <laughs> I didn't know. Just, but, but uh, I think last week I noticed that the, the may guard. They gave you an extra home. bag. The gate, gate man had a bag in the corner <laughs> of his gatehouse when they were loading the sachet water into the kitchen. I noticed the bag. I didn't know whether he... I said, so this guy, they buy... Or is this a dash? This, uh, what do you call again? This lady from the, uh, the Water you know, Manufacturers Association is saying that uh, they are not going to give you any extra bag again. They have ended the era of giving extra bags. Now, I'm, I'm here, you know, doing this. Like, I, I didn't know... Hey, the guy was getting an extra bag. So, so are you trying to he say... He was not giving my extra bag. I hope you're not going to fire I'm him. I'm telling you. Okay, we yeah. need to so go she, now. So she's saying that they would no more give it, be giving any extra bag. Uh, it's bag for bag. That's what she calls it. But this is it. Yeah, before, very important. Nigeria has petrochemical, a petrochemical company in, in River State called Indorama Element Petrochemical Company. They produce out, out of those petrochemicals Two products polypropylene and polyethylene now these are used to make plastics and then the cellophane that is used to bag the sachet water the sachet water manufacturers pay to buy the 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 in bundles the 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 cellophane okay from outside the country to an indian company now the question to ask is why can't they buy these bags in the country? What I'm told is that these guys, Indians, export it to their country and import it to Nigeria so the country can play, pay in US dollars. So this is something that has to be looked into you know, by, by the authorities, especially the National Assembly. We have to go. We'll be right back. We'll look at the papers this morning. Stay with us.